Hi, Libra. So, what do you say let's do a reading? Who or what is attempting to block you at this time, okay? Who or what is attempting to block Libra at this time? Wow, that was quick. Size. Size. With enemy at the bottom. your awareness <laughs> to these uh, enemies is a potential block, Libra, with size and enemy. Look, <laughs> I can't make it up. Look how I'm holding the cards. I didn't even mean for it to be this way. But it's like the enemy is, is looking for you, Libra, and here you are watching them sighing like are they ever going to just give it up i'm hearing give it a rest stop give it up like what is it gonna take for you to leave libra the f alone wow Who or what is attempting to block Libra? <clears throat> Interesting. We have the Lord, and I heard a possible landlord. This could be some type of landlord issue for some of you. They're trying to put up, uh, give a problem, or... Uh, This is someone trying to overpower you, Libra, have some type of ownership over you, which is not realistic. We have no type of ownership over any other soul. You're sovereign, Libra. You're sovereign beings. Okay, you could be waiting for some type of communication. A letter. Wow, someone could have stolen your mail or kept a piece of very important mail from you. That could be potentially delaying an important communication. Wow. This... There's a lot of people talking about you, Libra. Some have evil eyes. Conversation. Look, there's a lot of people in this card. Females and males. There could be gossip about your health. We have the doctor behind conversation. Who's blocking Libra and why? Yeah. Wow. Wow. Look who's back at the bottom. Enemy. 
but what came out the butterfly and a wife someone's wife is very unhappy with you Libra whether you are a feminine or a masculine this person is trying to put up blocks They're also trying to block your beautiful, ongoing transformation and your ability to fly free, move about the cabin, move about the country, move about the world, how you see fit. Spread your wings. This could be an ex-wife that's attempting to throw blocks in your path. Throw delays in your path, should I say. Milady and widower. There's that widower card. So this, not widow, which is the female version. This is a ma masculine. This is a man, male energy, the widower. He could be sick. Because in this Milady card, it looks like a masculine is in bed. The candle I had burning just now went out. Hold on just a second. Okay, Libra, we're back. All right, let's move into the tarot now. Let's switch up the energies. Oh, okay. I'm hearing the Kipper and then the Tarot. Who's trying to block Libra? Who's trying to block Libra's blessings? It's not happening, but who's trying? <clears throat> Can't block my blessings. Someone that feels very left out from that abundant energy. Poverty. They see you, Libra, in a place of high honor. Who else? Yep. This could also be a person of high ranking, high honor, even military. They could have poor energy. They don't even have to be necessarily quote unquote, you know, poor when it comes to money per se. They could have just poverty mindset or poverty energy poverty mindset is also like nothing's ever good enough to me I mean it's different wow look again at the masculine in bed, sick, bad health card. Well, obviously there's this older masculine who's in bad health 
who could be trying to block a union or block a marriage. Because the marriage card was at the bottom. We have someone obsessed with the thought of taking something that belongs to you or taking anything they can possibly get. And this person does have flying monkeys that work with them. Okay, we have the thief card at the bottom. He has this lady and she's like laughing. Look at her, you can see. She's kind of laughing hysterically. She's kind of cray cray. And then we have what looks to be a child um, or someone just <clears throat> small or less powerful than this masculine here. I mean, they could have painted you, Libra, or have pictures of you. Exactly. Thank you, Spirit. This person that is obsessed with some of you, unfortunately, um, they have taken your pictures off of whatever social media accounts you may have or have had, and they have some of your pictures, like places maybe, I don't know, hanging up. That's very bizarre. I've never been channeled that message before, per se. Wow. No wonder they wanted me to use the kipper. One more card. Who's attempting to block Libra? Just one. Exactly. False person. Someone could have red hair. There's a feminine and a masculine. This could be a couple. I just heard a karmic couple in my head. They hide behind facades, my spirit guide just said. Behind facades, like she's hiding behind that fan in front of her face and the masculine is wearing a mask in the back. They hide behind facades. It can't be stopped. Some type of Something that was previously could have been holding you down, Libra, the anchor. It's been broken free. And look, your dream ship is arriving and it's flying in. Like from Never Never Land. Places you could only dream. Libra, you're going places you could have only dreamed. Look at your ship flying in. It's gorgeous. It's like a dream ship. What is that? A seagull? Looks like a seagull. Hold on. Yeah. We're going to look at the spiritual symbolism of the seagull. Yeah, look at the anchor below the dream ship. It's been broken. It's like broken off of the ship and the ship is flying free. Flying towards your dreams. I could cry, Libra. This is beautiful. Look at that. Imagery. Thank you, spirit. Wow. Just a second. Let me grab uh, the computer so we can look up the spiritual symbolism of the seagull. <sighs> flying dream ships, Libra. This is so amazing. I love this Libra. What is the spiritual symbolism of the seagull? The gull power animal represents resilience and endurance. If your power animal is the seagull, it is likely that your life 
has been riff with challenges or rife with challenges. Fortunately, though, the seagull power animal embodies the ability to navigate through storms and become strong through challenges. Changes in weather, such as big storms, are accompanied by drastic drops in air pressure. And look how in this card, the ship is dropping the anchor. The anchor has broken, the chain has broken from the ship. You're elevating in air, like the pressure you're applying, Libra, as your dream ship is arriving. They also come after change or during change, also a symbol of good luck. When this animal is around you, every negative energy will be cleared. The purity of the seagull is believed to attract positivity into your life. Wowzer. That's so interesting, Libra. I'm hearing Light Seer's Tarot. Who's blocking Libra? Who or what is attempting to block my beautiful Libra friends? Tell me more. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, guides, angels, ancestors of the highest realms, always. Top card. Nine of Swords, so somebody in despair that is letting the that has let the dark take over their thought process, at least for now. This person has a lot of dark energy around them. This could be a Pisces, or this person could have recently betrayed you or another. I'm hearing Judas. We have the hanged man at the bottom. Who has attempted to block Libra? Four of Swords. I'm hearing they wanted to prolong your pain so it would take you longer to heal. This is the second time I've seen this card, Nine of Pentacles. They know your connection to your ancestors is very strong. They know you work with the light. They know you have a connection with spirit that is almost out of this world. They know your pentacles are stacked. They know you're good with money. They know you have money coming in. If you don't already have a very nice bank account, Libra, they know you're manifesting it. They know good money energy is all around you with this green. Everything you touch turns to gold. Everything you touch is money. You are so money, honey, is what I just heard. Yeah, you're stepping into the spotlight. This can no longer be stopped, delayed, none of that. Success is assured, victory assured. The limelight, Libra, the six of wands, stage, I just heard, don't be afraid, no stage fright. Let's end this reading. If you haven't already, give me a big thumbs up so I can reach more Librans here on YouTube. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you if you're recently subscribed or if you're even an OG Libra lander. Thank you. Thank you. Medusa Libra, there's jealousy around you. Definitely with all this goodness, all this good luck, all this Libran luck and charm and grace and divinity, there's a lot of envy and jealousy around that. The darker energy of that green, 
Look at this, the light energy of the green with the Knight of Pentacles right here, the light, the divine, and she's more dark, right? It's giving me green with envy. Ah, the golem at the bottom. A close friend acts on your behalf. And this can be a spiritual friend, a spiritual guide. Interesting. Anything else that Libra needs to be aware of before we close this reading? Almost. <clears throat> okay. One, two, three. The night triumph over adverse <clears throat> adversity. Wow, my throat chakra is being attacked right now. Top card. The green men. The forces of nature favor you. I just cut the deck three times and took the top cards. One more. Oh, I've never seen this one. The wizard. Nice. It's giving me Merlin energy. It's giving Merlin. Use your skills to aid others. What a perfect card to end this reading off with, Libra. Yes, it's giving magic, magic. Uh, it's giving, yes. Boss, magic energy, Libra. The wizard. Use your skills to aid others. Always for the good. I love you, Libra, from the bottom of my heart chakra. As always, stay balanced and stay blessed. Peace.